Hi, good afternoon, Mr. Fryer. I'm Chris. I'm the technician that's been looking at your vehicle today. I've investigated your transmission concern, uh, giving you a restricted limp home performance. Uh, we connected the vehicle to the computer. This is the code that we're getting here uh, turbine input, speed sensor, circuit air. This is all internal to the transmission, is this? Um, this is what it's telling us. It could be a faulty transmission control module, an actual internal failure. Uh, so we would like to put the transmission control module on this vehicle. Also carried out a complimentary visual health check. Uh, there's a few concerns I'd like to make you aware of today. Um, I will raise the vehicle up in the air and show you all the underside which we checked. I'll start off at waist height. Uh, this is your brake pad measuring tool that we use. It's a traffic light system. We have red, amber and green. I can see yours are all in the green. We pop this between the pad and the disc here and it gives an accurate measurement of material left on the brake pads. Uh, those fronts are like new. Uh, there's literally 14 millimetre on there. Uh, they look like they've been replaced recently, so no concerns there. Rear brake pads are also in the green. Perfectly fine, no concerns. These also look like they've been replaced recently. Discs also look in good shape on the front and the rear. As you can see there, we're looking at around about 9mm, uh, approximately 5% worn. They do come with less material on. Uh, while the vehicle's on the ramp, we check all the suspension on each side. All the springs are intact on this near side rear. Also the near side front. Spring looks perfectly fine, no fractured coil there. Driver's side, again fine, the dust covers are also intact. And again the offside rear, all perfectly fine and correctly located. A little bit of body damage here. I'll raise the vehicle up in the air and I'll show you some of the concerns. And I'll also show you the tyres as well. First of all, I'll start with this. This is your DPF pressure sensor pipe work. Uh, it comes from the DPF here and comes up to a bracket. And if I show you here, if I move it away, you can see it moving around and it's rattling. Uh, that needs a new DPF pressure sensor bracket. Also, this is your AdBlue injector, which injects the AdBlue into the exhaust system. And as you can see here, the soot around here, it's actually leaking. It will need to be removed, um, all cleaned, inspected. Make sure there's no damage being caused to the AdBlue injector with the excessive heat hitting it. You can see it all here, all the soot that's been coming past. Uh, that will do. If it's all fine, it's just a case of a new clamp bolt and a gasket. Also, it's difficult to show you, but if you see where I'm pointing, just at the bottom here, uh, that's your EGR cooler. Behind that, there is a turbo pipe. And it looks like there's a bit of oil coming down. Um, I suspect it's probably a turbo hose uh, that's slightly weeping. I would like to smoke test the vehicle just to make sure it's not, not actually a failed hose because that will also cause the vehicle to go into what's called a restricted mode and it will bring the engine management light on. It's also bring to me attention that the vehicle needs a service. Tires, front ones are getting low. Three millimeter there and it steps down to less than three millimeter on this side. Uh, the legal limit is 1.6, you can just see the wear markers there. So I would strongly advise that those tires are addressed shortly. They are wearing evenly, there's no concerns with uneven tire wear. Driver's side's also low, a little bit lower on the driver's side, that's 2.6 across the tread pattern on this one. So those front tires. Checking all the inside of the wheel, all the CV boots there, all fine. The brake pipe flexes, and as I say, the back of the discs. All look in good shape. Suspension wise, the bushes, they all look fine. Passenger side, the same again. All the CVs, fine. Drop links, everything's good there. All the brake pipes, all clipped in nicely. No concerns, no signs of anything that's caught the underside of the vehicle. All the shields look in good shape. Rear suspension wise, again, all the mounting points look great. No concerns. Brake flexes are all fine. And same on the passenger side as well. And all the mounting points there. Service advice will be contacting you shortly. Thank you for using Farnell Land Rover Leeds.